Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve this quadratic equation using no fuss factoring method. So let's go ahead and get started with this example. So what is the left hand side of this equal sign? I want you to write that thing right up here, that part. 21 x squared minus 13x minus 20. So next step, this is what I want you to do if you want to use that method. So I want you to put down two parentheses right up here. That's the next step. The next step after that one, I want you to just put down this part only, this portion, 21x. Just disregard this exponent part. So I want you to write down 21 x and 21 x. Next step, I want you to multiply these two end numbers which is what? 21 times 20. Go ahead and multiply. I'm going to write down right up here. 21 times 20. And now we're going to multiply these numbers and we're going to manipulate these factors in order to get our this negative 13. You see this one over here? That's what we are interested in, negative 13. So the simple way I want you to do like this one. Let's go ahead and manipulate this factoring thing. So I'm gonna, I want you to write down 21 as what? Three times what? Seven. And 20 could be written as what? Five times what? Four. You can see that one? Over here right now, over here, you can see I can write uh, over here 3 times 5 gives us what? 15, isn't it? And 7 times 4 gives us what? 28. And now you can see 15 and 28, if we subtract, we can get 13. And since we are interested in negative 13, so this biggest number is going to be negative 28. And this 15 is going to be positive 15. So let's go ahead and put down these numbers, this one over here, positive 15 and negative 28. 8 right in these parentheses. Okay, so this is going to become what? Positive 15 right up here and over here is what? Negative 28. So next thing I want you to ask yourself in the first parentheses, what is the biggest number that can divide into 21 and 15? And you can see that number is going to be Obviously, it is 3. Now, you tell me what is the biggest number that divides into 21 and 28. And, of course, yes, that's right, 7. Both of them, okay, divisible. Once you have done this thing, so that's going to give you 21 divided by 3 is going to give you 7x plus what? 5 times what? 3x minus 4. And that is our complete factor for this quadratic polynomial. So once we have got this one, I want you to go ahead and move these factors for this part right up here. So I can write this one, this quadratic equation as what? 7x plus 5 times 3x minus 4 equal to what? zero. Now since we have these two parentheses, they are multiplying and they are equal to zero, what I can do is I can break them down and put as two uh, separate equations like over here. You can see 7x plus 5 equal to zero and the second equation become 3x minus 4 equal to zero. So let's go ahead and solve these two equations for x. That means we're going to isolate x. So this subtract 5 from both sides. This cancels out. So we got what? 
seven x equal to negative five. I want you to divide by seven on both sides. So this seven and seven is gone. So x equal to negative five over seven so this is one of our solutions to this given quadratic equation let's go ahead and do the second part over here this time i'm going to add four on both side what happened this is gone so this is simply become what three x equal to what four now i want you to divide both side by three this three cancels out so x equal to what 4 over 3 is our another solution so we got two solutions x equal to negative 5 over 7 or we got what x equals to 4 over over 3 is another solution or simply we can write this one thus we can say thus our solution set is simply what negative 5 over 7 comma 4 over 3 and that is our answer thanks for watching